Good morning, everybody. It's almost the afternoon and getting on the highway. And uh, got my buddy behind me. But uh, yeah, just helping them, like I said, to deliver some couches. I want to show you guys how quick this thing will accelerate, especially after, after that uh, technical service bulletin that they performed some time ago. I told you guys I was going to update you guys and I was going to let you know uh, how it's been holding up. So I gave it some. Uh, some time to kind of learn, do its thing. It said it was only going to be a couple of hundred miles or like a thousand miles or something like that. Keep right after 14 miles. But if you check this out, look at how quick. Speeding up, no issues. So, most of these little bugs have been worked out. I did have one thing that really was really, really, really annoying. And that was basically the tailgate. For some reason it would lock and I try to open it and it will take like an act of God to get this thing open and uh, I'd open and open and open so I took it in and they took care of it they basically re, re greased the tracks or whatever they opened up the back end of the tailgate greased it up and they said uh, basically if it gives me any problems it's been documented just let them know and just so that you know this is where my mileage is at right now 33837, so not too bad. Uh, I think these things, once these bugs are all worked out and they get their all, all their numbers and everything uh, figured out and situated, I think it's going to be pretty good. Uh, pretty good of a truck. It'll be a force to be reckoned with. Now, one thing I think they really need to do is up these darn towing capacity numbers. Because, yeah, it's a heavy duty half ton, but you've got half tons out there that are already towing 12 plus thousand pounds. Don't get me wrong, I love the truck. I wouldn't have kept it this long if I didn't. Uh, around April or May coming up in 18, it'll be two years that I've had it, so I don't have any major gripes or concerns. The only, with the exception of the fact that it should have a sunroof when you're paying the, that type of premium price. <coughs> but, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And uh, for those of you out there that are thinking about possibly buying the Titan, uh, compared with maybe the XD as far as the Cummins motor or getting the 5.6, for me, the Cummins is doing really well. And for what it can tow, and as far as fuel economy numbers, uh, it was a no-brainer. So that's why I picked the Cummins. Uh, I could have done the gas motor, but just the fuel economy definitely was not there. Now, that's not many reasons why people use the diesel engine, but yeah, this diesel engine's heck even in cars, so uh, for those of you out there that are on the fence about whether you're going to get the gas motor or the diesel motor, yes, maybe it's a little bit more of a maintenance premium, but in the long run, I'm gonna stick with the diesel. I'm pretty sure in the future, in future models, I'll probably bring that towing capacity up, you know, maybe up to 13, 14K. If they can get it up to 14K, they'll definitely be <coughs> a brand definitely worth considering for many. Um, and if you can see, I'm at around a little bit less than 2,000 RPM and I'm a little bit less than 75. So that's how I get mostly my mileage as far as uh, getting anywhere from 18 to 21, depending on the conditions. As long as I'm moving, I'm fine. But in stop and go, I'm normally around the 15, 16, maybe 17 range, if that. Uh, Off-roading. Haven't really done that that much. Thank goodness for the brakes. I should have been paying attention a little bit more. But I uh, haven't really done that much off-roading, been a little bit busy and whatnot, so haven't had any time to really put those videos that I wanted to put up, up there. So for all you guys that are out there, have a Merry Christmas. Take care. Bye.